in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up and use a multi-signature wallet or multi-sig for short. This allows multiple different parties to control the assets of one single wallet. This is great for treasury, DAOs, or managing a, a, a trust or a family's funds within that crypto wallet. Multiple different parties would need to sign transactions if they want to send assets out or participate in DeFi, whatever it might be. This allows for a governing body to control the funds of that particular wallet. A really cool and easy feature that you can use in the crypto space and it's built into what you're seeing right here, Eternal Wallet. Now I played around with this setup and it is so easy to and I love the, what the guys have done to create this user experience as well. So let's get into this particular setup here. So here I have two wallets, one on um, Brave Browser here and the other one on Chrome. And I've got a couple of setups here. So I've got one uh, test wallet here set up and then I've got my test wallet two set up on this side. So it's set up in two different accounts. And I've also already set up a multi-sig, but I'll set up a brand new one and I'll show you exactly how it works. So if you haven't set up a wallet yet using Eternal, follow my video tutorials and you can learn how to set up a wallet and get a basic overview of how to use it. But let's now start the process of creating a brand new multi-sig. So I'm gonna click on add wallet here. And here you've got this option, multi-sig wallet, create or join a multi-sig. So the user on this side of the screen, let's say it's just user one and this on the right side of the screen is user two. This user one is going to create a brand new multi-sig. And here you can see two options. You can either join an existing one or create a new one. In this case, I'm gonna click on create new multi-sig. And you've got some options here. You've got advanced. This is coming soon, so we don't need to worry about it. So click on simple and then give this wallet a name. Multi-sig demo, there we go. So click on next. Now this is where you can add in the participants or the controllers of this particular wallet. The first participant would probably be the person that is setting it up. So if I click on select now, you'll be able to see the wallets that are already set up within this browser and you can see the test wallet one, which I showed before. So I'm gonna select that one. Now here, my second option here is to add in a second participant. And in this case, I will get this uh, particular multi-sig key from another participant and add it in at this point. So I'm gonna jump over to user two here on the right-hand side and click on add wallet. And this is where you can get that multi-sig key to add in on the first screen here. So let me click on multi-sig wallet. And in this case, I'm gonna click on join a multi-sig. So if uh, your friends or family, you wanted them to join in on this particular wallet, you'd be asking them to create a brand new eternal wallet and then add in a brand new multi-sig or uh, click on join a multi-sig, I should say. And then here they can click on multi-sig key click on their wallet and here is the account shared key that they need to give to the creator of the multi-sig wallet. So I can copy that on the right hand side and then paste it in on the left here. So I'm gonna paste it in there, you can see it there. And now I can click on next. And here, this, this is the interesting part here. So required signers, how many participants need to sign confirm when signing? In this case, there's two participants, so I can choose that to move that up to two. But let's say there's five participants in this particular wallet and you wanted a majority of three. So you can choose three there and you don't need to rely on the entire uh, uh, participants of this particular wallet. You just need a majority there. So you can say three out of the five can sign. And in this case, I've got two out of the two. So let's click on next. And now we need to register this particular wallet. So here we can create the transaction to register the multi-signature wallet on chain. This allows for automatic discovery by participants and is the recommended option. So let's go register here. And then I just need to type in my signing password to confirm this transaction and then sign away. And there we go. So this is being submitted on chain. You can see the, uh, the transaction already submitted. And now I've got my multi-sig demo wallet all ready to go. Fantastic. 
Okay, so now this, uh, I'll click on home. We'll, we'll click on all the wallets here. So this is my earlier created wallet. And this is my brand new multi-sig demo wallet. Great, fantastic. Now what I'm gonna do is firstly, send a little bit of uh, test ADA to that multi-sig wallet. So let's go back to the wallet here, click on receiving address, copy that address, and I'll just jump back onto my main test wallet here. I've got some sub accounts under this, so I'll just go to my sub account, Alice, click on send, type in that address there and send over 100 ADA, there we go. Sign that transaction and away it goes. So now that is being sent over to that brand new multi-sig wallet that I've just set up. Now I need that in there so I can continue this demonstration and show you how to actually send from that multi-sig wallet too. So that will appear in this multi-sig wallet any moment. Okay, so now that that multi-sig wallet is registered online, let's go to user two here on the right hand side and add that multi-sig wallet to the interface on the right side here. So let's go back to the very beginning here. There we go. So let me close that one too. So I'll click on my wallets here and add new wallet and then click on multi-sig wallet. And now I need to add in that brand new multi-sig wallet that was created online. So I'll click on join a multi-sig. And here now I have the option to discover what wallets, multi-sig wallets have been created with that key that I have shared. So let me click on discover now. This is the wallet that I shared the key from. And now it's fetched all the wallets. Now this here, this multi-sig one here, this is one that I created early in the day as a test. But here and now I can click on show multi-sig wallets with reused keys. So it's the same key reused again and again. And there's one I just created just before with the 100 ADA that I sent to it as well. So let me add in that one there. So multi-sig demo, you can see the name that I used as well, multi-sig demo, it matches up. So I'm going to click on add and there it is there. So that is the wallet appearing within my interface. So this is the same two wallet on two different users uh, being able to share this particular wallet now and share the transactions amongst it. Now I'm just gonna clear the notifications here. There we go. So I've got no notifications on either the, of the wallets. Great, so now you've successfully created a multi-sig wallet with multiple different users behind it. So now anytime I send assets from this multi-sig wallet, both of the users from test wallet one and the other user from test wallet two will need to sign that particular transaction for it to be sent anywhere. So let me now demonstrate exactly how sending assets or participating in DeFi might work with a multi-sig wallet. So, all right, so now let's click on send. Let's send some assets here. And from here, I can select an account. Now under the test account one, I do have multiple sub accounts. So now I am going to send Charlie here, my third account, uh, 10 ADA. So I'm gonna get the address there. Yep, great, the address is in. Here, I'm gonna click on 10 ADA. Type that in, great, that looks all okay to me. I am on the multi-sig wallet. And now I'm gonna sign this transaction. And you can see the prompt here. This is an external script that I'm interacting with. Everything looks good. Let's type in the sending password here to send this one on its way. Click on sign. And now it's sharing that multi-sig transaction. And have a look at what's happened on the right-hand side here. That notification came up. So now almost immediately, I've got this notification on my other user's wallet saying that there is a multi-sig transaction that needs the nod. So waiting for the nod. So that means I need to sign this transaction uh, depending on what it is. All right, let's have a look at what this particular transaction is. So I'll click on sign. So now here I can look at the external transaction. So let's expand this to actually have a look at what's going on here. So the input, yep, yeah, okay. The output here is what I'm interested in and I can see this address is getting 10 ADA. It's an external address that I don't know, but uh, in, you know, in conversations between, between these two people, you would be discussing what's going on. You're gonna be saying, oh, we're gonna send X amount of ADA, 10 ADA to this particular address. And here I can see the last, uh, f uh, what, six characters here, Q-U-V-E-W-Q, -E matches up with that particular transaction that I am signing. All right, so everything here is pretty much good to go then. These are all other UTXOs on the script here coming from account zero. So I think they're all okay, it looks all right. 
So now let's close that transaction detail and assign this transaction here. And now that is being submitted on chain. Still cooking, just give that a few seconds and there we go, it's on chain now. So now both parties have signed that transaction and that amount of ADA, you can already see it's left my particular wallet here, is being sent to Charlie. So here on the left hand side, this will update in time, but let's jump over to test wallet one and Charlie, there we go. We can already see the balance of uh, 2010 ADA. And if we have a uh, look at that particular transaction here, you can see the received funds from a script, 10 ADA has come in. Fantastic. So that is how easy it is to use a multi-sig wallet and set one up. The Eternal team have done a really good job of setting up this interface and that user experience of creating, joining, and using the multi-sig wallet. So absolutely fantastic work there from the Eternal team. Love what you guys do. Now, if you guys got something out of this video tutorial, please make sure you hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe, notification bell. I've got lots of tutorials around the Cardano ecosystem. Check out the website, learncardano.io. Lots of tutorials and courses on there, as well as the podcast and my other YouTube channel. Do check that all out. Links all down below in the show notes. I'll see you guys in the next video.